In this video I'm going to try and show you in less than five or six minutes how to make um, a school portal page. So a lot of schools are using a portal page like this with tiles hyperlinking to services for your parents, students or staff. So this particular page has been made inside Google Sites and it's completely responsive which means if you view the page on an iPad an iPhone or an Android device, you'll find that it will resize to fit the size of that screen. So to get started building this Google site, make sure you're signed into Google Chrome and just click on the Google Apps icons up here and choose Sites. We're going to create a brand new site, so at the top left press the red Create button make sure that you choose the blank template. Um, next up we'll name the site, so I'll just call this School Page 101. There's no need to select a theme or to add any more options. Now you may not have to add this um, code down here, but I'm, I just have to pop that in. You press Create. And now Google Sites will build the basics of the website for me. The advantage of using Google Sites is that not only can you build your website, but it will host it for you as well and give you that URL. You might want to put the URL on the home page of your website, for example, so your parents and students can find it easily. Now we're inside the very basics of a Google Site, so we need to tidy a few things up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the settings icon up here and we'll choose page settings. We'll uncheck these two boxes, show page title and show links to subpages and press save. Now I'd like to press the settings again and we're going to edit the site layout. There's no need for us to have this sidebar here. So at the top I can remove that sidebar. And the next thing I want to do is to remove the title of this page and this search this site uh, area here. So I'll close this for now and then we'll go back to settings and we'll choose manage site. Inside manage site we've got the site name and we're going to uncheck this, show site name at top of pages. And then we're going to go to configure search options just here and we'll disable that search option option there and press OK, press save and then we click here to go back and view the web page. So far so good, the web page is looking pretty blank. The next thing we want to do is insert our school logo at the top of the web page. So we're going to press the settings icon and we'll choose edit site layout. And now we're going to click into this header area here and notice we can add a custom logo. So I prepared a custom logo in Photoshop just before I started. So you may have your school logo, just make sure that you save that as um, a JPEG or a PNG file. So back over to Google Sites, I'm going to choose Select Logo, Custom Logo and I choose that file. And I'll just press Open. Well, the height of the logo, select use logo size, and this is important, the alignment. So make sure it's vertically aligned to the top and horizontally aligned to the center. We'll press OK. Now we can see the school logo is in place, but unfortunately it's on a gray background. So the next thing we need to do is change that. So we'll click on Manage Site again, and we'll choose Themes, Colors, and Fonts. And the entire page background you can see is set to the theme color. Let's change that to None, and press Save. And then we'll click the title of the website on the left-hand side here. So now we've got our school logo up here. This particular one is a little bit too small. I'm just going to change that very quickly. Edit Site Layout, click on the header, change the custom logo. This one is a bit better. Uh, 
That's much better. So now we've got the school logo on a white background. So we're ready to place um, the tiles of this page here. So to do that, we can click the pencil button because we're now ready to edit the page itself. And it's really important, the first thing you need to do is to specify the layout of the main body here of the page. So to do that, we press layout and we're going to choose three column with run, one row at the top and one row at the bottom. And in this very first row, we might just want to type welcome to our school portal. Um, and we'll increase that to 24 points and we'll centralize that text. Now we're ready to insert our first tile. But before you do that, you're going to need to prepare the images for your tiles. And that's very easy to do. Um, I've used Photoshop to do this. So if we reopen Photoshop, and I've got a tile ready here. And if you take a look at the canvas size, you can see that I've used a width of 650 pixels to 400 pixels. Um, you might want a to point your parents towards the parent newsletter. So I've just edited the, um, the layer with the text on. Uh, it's a little bit too big, so I'm just going to reduce the size. The next thing I'm going to do is change the background color. So I select the background layer. And this peachy color is just fine, so we'll drop that in. And now the parent newsletter tile is ready to be saved. So to do that, we just go to the file menu, save for web. Double check the image size is all good. And click save. And we'll just pop that onto our desktop file here. Great, so we're done with Photoshop. And you can see our image is just there. So to insert that, we go back to our Google site, press the pencil to edit the page. And now we're going to place the first tile in the left-hand column. So we make sure the cursor is flashing in the left-hand column. And we'll choose Insert Image. First of all, we have to upload our images. So we're going to press Upload Image. And I'll just make sure that I select my desktop. And there's my parent newsletter tile. And we'll press Open. So Google Sites will upload the image to its Resources folder. And I just have to press OK. So there's my tile in its full size, full original size. But this is important that you select 100%. And it's important to align it to the center. The next thing to do is you'll notice there's an option to go to a link. If you press the Change button, we can actually specify where this hyperlink will go to. So I'll choose Google in this instance, and I will specify to open the link in a new window and press OK. So let's press Save and just take a look at how the Google site is looking. There's our first tile, and if we just test, we can see it's also responsive by dragging the corner of the page. Let's add the rest of our tile, so press the pencil button to edit your page. This time we're going to click in the, in the central column and I'm going to insert the rest of my images. So I've already prepared my images, so I'm going to click Upload and navigate to those images. So you, you can upload multiple images at one time. So they'll all be uploaded. Notice that um, my image size is very small. It's really important to keep an eye on that to make sure that your site runs as fast as it can. So we just give this a second for the icons to upload. 
Now they've all uploaded, we'll choose the hyperlink to the Botanica page and press OK. And again, you make sure that you choose 100% and align center. And then we'll change that hyperlink. This time we'll change it to Botanica's home page. Oops. which is just here. So we grab the URL at the top with Command C and then just Command V to paste that in and we'll open that in a new window. Move along to the next column, insert image. This time we'll go to a service that we use at my school called ClickView Cloud and a lot of independent schools in Australia use that service. We'll press OK, 100% we'll pop that in the middle. Now you're going to get to um, a point where, I'll just pop that URL in. When you're ready to insert an image beneath another image, I found the best way to do that is to click beneath the image, backspace once by pressing delete and then hit return. You'll notice your cursor is now aligned center in the column and we're ready to pop the next image in. So we'll go insert image, click on your Gmail and press OK, 100% align center. And again, you want to just put that URL in. And then we'll click to the next column insert image. This could be a, a hyperlink to your intranet for example. Press OK, 100% align center and then we just pop the last one in. Insert image to your library. And that might be a hyperlink to um, your school library for example if you have a special library system that you use at your school. Okay, so we press save to save the uh, web page, and now you can see it's really starting to take shape. Um, on my demo page, I had inserted another image at the bottom. You may choose to insert perhaps um, a Google map, for example, of your uh, school, or you might want to insert another image of, of your school. So to do that, we would click pencil icon, and we'll use this bottom row here. Notice. Uh, the bottom row beneath the icons. And now we can go insert, and if you wish, you could insert the Google Calendar. You could insert items from your Google Drive, or you can insert a Google Map. So let's try and insert a Google Map. We just need to enter our location. So for me, I'm located in Perth, in Western Australia. We just press select. Uh, I think if we leave the width, um, we will get a 100% width, and that's what we're really looking for because whenever you get a 100% width, that's going to follow the responsiveness of your page, so it will always fit to 100% of your page. So again, I'll align that center, press save. Great, so now we've got um, our school portal page. We've got um, links out to different services that we might offer. And uh, in this instance, we've inserted a Google Map. Of course, if you wanted to insert an image, that's pretty easy to do. Just click on the edit page again, remove that Google Map, insert image. And I had prepared an image just here of some students working. So we can upload that image. Press OK. Make sure you select 100% and we'll align center. You can press save. 